Uh, in 2014, President Obama came to this committee to ask for the military authority to strike Syria. Uh, you supported that in the House. I supported it here in the Senate. The committee supported it. Um, now, President Trump has fired, ordered missile strikes fired at Syria last year. He didn't seek congressional approval. The U.S. conducted airstrikes against the Syrian military in February without congressional approval. The president is tweeting that he might uh, do additional military strikes in Syria now, uh, and he's also aiming words directly at Russia. As far as I know, Syria has not declared war against the United States. Has Congress given the president specific authority to wage war against Syria? Uh, and, and you would agree with me that waging a war requires both a domestic and an international legal justification. Yes, 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 Senator. I would. And we made it and we made it worse. We brought chaos to the Middle East. It, we are still suffering the ramifications and repercussions of the Iraq war. But your president said it very clearly. He says that the Iraq war was the single worst decision ever made. So once again, I'm concerned that you won't be supporting the president, that you will be influencing him in a way that I think his inclinations are actually better than many of his advisors, that the Iraq war was a mistake, that we need to come home from Afghanistan. He was against being involved in Syria at many times in his career. So I think he does have good instincts. And my main concern is that Will you be one who will listen to what the president actually wants instead of being someone who advocates for us staying forever in Afghanistan, another Iraq war, bombing Syria without permission? So these are the, the advice you will give. And I guess that's my biggest concern with your nomination is that I don't think it reflects the millions of people who voted for President Trump who actually voted for him because they thought it'd be different, that it wouldn't be the traditional bipartisan consensus to bomb everywhere and be everywhere around the world. So that's my main concern. And I just want to make sure that that's loud and clear to everyone. That is my concern. There's been no attack on the United States from the Syrian regime, correct? Senator, that's correct. And there's no imminent threat of attack on the United States from the Syrian regime. Yes, and I'm just trying to be very careful. Yes, I, I, th I think that's I think that's correct.